What's up everybody? Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be doing some more guitar center guitar hunting. And this is a very special episode because we're going to my hometown guitar center, the one that was local to me growing up in Plymouth Meeting, Pennsylvania. I'm so excited, man. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Thanks for joining me on another guitar hunting vlog, dude. Uh, these are so much fun. And I gotta tell you, man, like I said it like on the other two episodes, I have never considered myself a vlogger or a vlogger or whatever. But uh, these videos have been just killing it and I just appreciate you all so much for showing up and engaging and interacting. And I guess there's something to be said about watching other people like go to their favorite store and vicariously live through that. So, uh, you know, I certainly watch a lot of people like go to Spirit Halloween and Guitar Center and you know, it just, I like to watch people shop as well. So it kind of makes sense why these videos are doing so well. But anyway, um, rambling aside, I really do appreciate you all for, for coming to this episode. Because I said in the intro, man, um, this one's going to be fun. This is a special one for me. This is my hometown guitar center. And, um, you know, although it's my local guitar center, quote unquote, I never had a local guitar center growing up because um, where I grew up, for those of you who know the area, Quakertown, Pennsylvania, Perkesee, Pennsylvania, Sellersville, Pennsylvania, that whole area, that's where I grew up in. And there, it's pretty much the sticks of Pennsylvania. One thing that's interesting about Philadelphia is the suburbs open up really quickly. You get out of the city and you're in the woods in no time. So it's kind of cool, but um, anyway, I grew up in a space that's really spread out. And so uh, we didn't have a lot of guitar centers or any at all. So the nearest one it was about 45 minutes on the Pennsylvania Turnpike south of where I live. So, you know, I didn't really frequent here too often, especially as a kid, because I didn't drive. Um, but when I did have my license and when I did go to the guitar centers, this is the one that I went to. Um, this one is pretty middle of the road. You know, here I am reviewing guitar centers. <laughs> uh, it's pretty middle of the road. They, they, they sporadically have some cool stuff. And I didn't even check the inventory before going here because I think it kind of takes the fun out of it for me. Um, and as well for you guys too, because like if I tell you what's in stock and then like, you know, then I show you what's in stock, it kind of loses the thrill of the hunt type of thing. So. I kept myself, you know, in the dark for this one. I think it'll be kind of cool, kind of fun. So um, I'm gonna head on up the uh, Route 1 and then up the Blue Route to uh, Guitar Center up to Plymouth Meeting, uh, Pennsylvania. And then, uh, yeah, man, so we'll, we'll check it out. We'll shop a little bit. And I have no intentions of really, um, of buying any guitars today. Man, I got enough guitars. And actually, tomorrow, I'm flying out down to Atlanta, Georgia. So um, today's actually a busy day for me, but I want to get this out for Monday. So at the time that this is going live, I'll be doing some some content for an amplifier company. And I've already kind of teased it. So like this will be like a soft release right here. Um, yeah, man, I'm going to be on the Victory Amplifiers artist roster. And that's so crazy to me, man. And so what we're going to be doing today at the time of this video dropping Monday, two days from now for me, is uh, they want to like interview me and do like some sort of like artist spotlight thing, talking about you know why I love their amplifiers and you know stuff like that. And I've been casually playing them, softly playing them, uh, sneaky playing them. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I've been playing them without really announcing that I'm playing them because I've been kind of holding off for this this event to happen. Um, a lot of the mixes that you guys have been hearing have been you know my cracking, but I haven't been saying it just to be sneaky, right? Um, but anyway, yeah, man, so they want to do a, a, a feature on me, with me, you know, something to that effect. And I'm so honored, man. So it's a, it's a really cool thing. So anyway, just getting off on a little bit of a tangent here. All I'm trying to say is today's a busy day. I want to film this, do some shopping, then I go home and I got to pack and then I got to fly out tomorrow. Um, and I'm totally down for it, man. It's totally cool with me because, uh, you know, I've said in several other vlogs, I'm finally doing the things that I've envisioned of doing when I first started out. So like the fact that I had the means for a company to want to fly me out and, and film content for their product is the kindest thing. And I'm so honored and thankful. And I, f I feel so lucky to be able to do that. So I'm really excited about that. So this is, like I said, the soft release of this announcement. Um, and you know, I figured I'd let you guys know because you guys show up to my videos, man, and I appreciate you. So anyway, man, I'm done rambling. I gotta get on the blue route 
and uh, go north and it's about 30 minute drive for me so uh yeah i'll see you guys in the parking lot all right all right <laughs> don't go anywhere all right ladies and gentlemen we are at guitar center we made it dude there it is plymouth meeting pennsylvania um yeah dude this is my hometown man even though it's 40 minutes away from where i grew up but uh one thing I want to say real quick before I go in there, show some guitars and jam a little bit. I know a lot of people, a lot of my haters, I got a lot of them. They say, uh, oh, it's so cringy that this guy is filming himself, you know, playing in a, in a guitar store. And I, hey, man, like you're at, you're watching me, you know, make a living right now. So, um, you know, I don't come to your place of work and tell you what you're doing so cringy. So, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. It just sounds like people are kind of just hating because I get to do cool things and show show this moment with you guys. So anyway, man, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to start filming and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, there's some cool stuff in there. It'll be fun. This is my first time ever walking in blind, not really knowing what's in here. So it'll be, be a fun little adventure. All right, let's get into it. Enough rambling. I also came prepared. I brought my own uh, JP pick. That's the picks that I always use exclusively. Uh, I know a lot of people ask, but usually I don't come prepared like an idiot, but today I came prepared. <laughs> Brought my tools, you know? <laughs> All right, let's go in. Not get hit by a car. No, sir. Check out some stuff out. Yeah, I I love this. The blue display. That dude is so cool, yeah. man. <laughs> I had to get that on camera. Right but, on. But yeah, man. If I, if I have any questions, I'll let you know. Sounds I, good. I appreciate you. Thank yeah. you so much. I love that. The baby blue, the Daphne blue, everything. Guitar. <laughs> I don't know, it looks pretty, pretty cool. cool huh? yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I have it. They're, they're pretty cool. They're cool, man. I've always wanted one. Is that the model that that chick plays? No, uh, Emily Wolf. Yeah. Uh, this is similar, but no, hers uh, is more like uh, like stealth. stealth yeah, mode. yeah, it's all black. And yeah. she's got like doesn't have like the f hole. Has like a almost like, like a diamond of some sort. Oh like, yeah, right. right yeah. Right.
ってん It sucks cracked. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are leaving Guitar Center, and <laughs> don't get too excited. It ain't nothing cool. It's just a gig bag. But there it is, man. There's the old stomping grounds. It's nice to come back here every once in a while. But yeah, all I got was a gig bag, a big gig bag, a base gig bag, because you know what, man? I've been sitting here thinking about what guitar am I gonna take down south? Who am I as an artist? And I gotta be honest, man, I feel most comfortable with my baritones, man. My Squire Vintage Modified Baritone Jazz Master. That's just, that's just my guitar, man. So, I was gonna bring a Paul down. I was gonna bring the JJN Paul. I was gonna bring my 78 Les Paul Custom. Like, that 78 is probably like the most me guitar. But uh, I am so scared to like bring that anywhere, man. I don't want to bring that on a flight or whatever. I know there's ways around to like, you know, make a flight safe for your guitar and whatever, but like, it just gives me so much anxiety traveling with my 78 Les Paul Custom, traveling with like a $4,000 guitar, right? So I'm like, dude, I want to go with the guitar that's mine. So I went with the baritone case. So I'm gonna head home and then we'll wrap up today's video, okay? Let's see if I can't get my mom on the phone. Mama Metal. <laughs> That's not her nickname, but I guess it is now. I just made that up. Please don't unfollow me or unsubscribe. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's give her a call. Oh, shit. Oh. Hello. Oh, hey, Mom. <laughs> uh -oh. Sorry, I said a speed bump. Or uh, not a speed bump, a, oh, po a pothole. Geez. Oh, jeez. I don't know which is worse. I don't know. I'm, I'm just reckless, you know? You are. Nice. <laughs> no, I'm not. Anyway, how are you? I'm good. Figured I'd call and say hello. Good. So when do you leave? Tomorrow. I leave tomorrow at like, uh, I fly out at two. So do the mat, you know, the backtrack. I have to be there at like noonish. And then they're picking you up at five somewhere. Yes, at the Atlanta airport. And that's five on Sunday. Right, Sunday night at five o'clock, dinner time. So I'm excited. Yeah, it should be fun. So I don't know how well you guys can see this woman right here. I'm gonna feature her. I love this woman so much. She dances all day, every day on the weekends for uh, great clips. She's the best, dude. So shout out to this woman in Brookhaven, Pennsylvania, Delaware County. You're a kind soul. 
and a free spirit, and I love it so much. All right, everybody, I'm back from my hometown guitar center, and it was, the trip was, hmm, how do I say this? It went the way I thought it was gonna go. I knew this place was kind of middle of the road, and you know, just my whole life, it was an, a solid guitar center, but never had anything like extravagant. And today was kind of like that. They had a ton of cool Epiphone stuff. Unfortunately, the white Epiphone headstock was broken. I'm not sure if they know that or if they're trying to sell it, and hopefully, you know, hope that nobody doesn't notice it, but I notice it, but anyway. The best guitar there was that uh, 50 spec Cherry Burst Les Paul. That top was insane. I don't know how good my GoPro picked it up. Probably relatively poorly, unfortunately. But man, it was insane. It was like like a custom shop top. Um, but yeah, man, all in all, dude, it was a solid little fun day. But uh, you know, to be expected. That's how it always kind of was, just growing up, just an average guitar center. But I had fun showing it with you guys and taking a trip down memory lane, showing you guys some more of where I grew up and my old stomping grounds. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here, man. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'm out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay metal. See you guys next time. Later.